listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro, the place to learn about new technology and technological advances before they become mainstream. This podcast is sponsored by Ingram Micro's Imagine Next. It's not about the destination. It's about going someplace you never thought possible. Go to imaginenext.ingrammicro.com to find out more. Let's get into it. Welcome to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. I'm your host, Shelby Skirhawk, and our guest today is Stephen Kelly, Business Manager for Vizio. Stephen, welcome. Hi, Shelby. Glad to be here. Excellent. Well, today we are talking about Vizio in 2023. But uh, first, Stephen, tell us just a little bit about your role there at, at Vizio. Sure. Happy to. I, I like to say that I manage everything, Shelby, outside of our uh, major retail channels. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm responsible for all of distribution, um, a large portion of our business development, um, all on the device side of our sales team, of course. Okay. Well, so when we look at video in the channel, you know, why is B2B a renewed focus for Vizio? Sure. You know, Vizio, like a lot of suppliers over the years, has had some challenges with supply chain. Um, You know, going through COVID, everybody's aware of of the issues that were going on at the manufacturing level. Um, Vizio not excluded. And and during the time of of those challenges, Vizio really um, prioritized their core business, which, which is our retail channels. Right. You know, supply has become much better out of um, about 50 SKUs that we have. There there are no issues currently. So with great supply, we look to start expanding back into, you know, other areas that that we are very interested in growing our business in and that we've done well in the past. Um, And that, you know, being specifically B2B and and the distribution channel. So we're we're happy to be here. You know, we've gone about a a year now with with Ingram, you know, leading the charge back into the B2B channel and um, doing extremely well. So, um, you know, certainly a renewed focus and, and we're happy to make a splash back in the channel. So you mentioned as far as the SKUs right now, uh, supply chain is, are, are we nearly back to back to normal as far as Vizio products being in stock as concerned? Absolutely. No, no challenges currently. Um, we, we even have some opportunities for, you know, additional buy-ins and things throughout the holiday season for, for a lot of our partners. Um, so stock is, is, is fantastic. Yeah. And, and that's uh uh, that's not the case everywhere. So that's exciting to hear. Well, looking at the the needs for, uh, you know, a business and uh, by extension, you know, what Ingram Micro partners are being asked of, uh, what their their customers need. I imagine there's a good discussion around value versus the the longevity of, of a product, of a, uh, a television. So what are... What are you hearing? What are customers asking for and what are partners asking for uh, from you guys? Sure. You know, it's interesting. When, when I see a request come in from an end user, it, it's usually very simple. Um, you know, they, they either know that they need a commercial professional display in which they usually aren't speaking to Vizio. But, you know, if, if there's any ambiguity and, and they have, um, you know, just a request where they say, I need a 4K television, it needs to look really nice in, in, in my lobby or um, in our classroom. Vizio is, is certainly in the discussion um, and, you know, is the delta between the cost of a professional display and a consumer display becomes greater. You know, Vizio right now has a 50 inch uh, 4K, fantastic looking display for under $300. So it is that delta between a professional and a, and a consumer grade display becomes greater. I think we become more and more of that conversation. Um, so when a, a partner is looking for just, you know, a, a great 4K display, for really any environment, Vizio is a great choice. It, it's certainly going to be the most affordable uh, solution out there in the channel. You know, it, it comes with a nice warranty. We have an extended warranty available through Ingram as well. A lot of partners discuss, you know, what, what's the difference between, um, you know, a prosumer display and, and a consumer display that Vizio might sell. And it really comes down to that warranty. Uh, a lot of what we see is, is other manufacturers taking a consumer display um, and attaching a two-year warranty to it. And then calling it, you know, prosumer. And, and Vizio can do that through Ingram. Um, we, we offer a, a two-year extended warranty. And um, they're very affordable for partners and a great way to increase partner margin as well. Uh, so what is the standard warranty that comes with uh, with Vizio televisions? And then how, yeah, and then what is that extension? Sure. So we track TVs by serial number. And if, if we see that they're deployed into a commercial environment, then the warranty is 90 days um, from the time that it's it's purchased. You can extend that to two years. And as an example, again, the 50-inch TV that I talked about, under $300, the warranty that the channel cost is, is only $30 on the warranty. So, I, I mean, you can 
make a great deal of margin on, on the warranty and then still offer a, a display to your end user for under $400, warranted for two years. When you talk about the uses for you know, Vizio products, um, you're saying that, you know, it, it may not necessarily, if, if you're a, you know, in a pro AV space, you know, this may not be the one that, that they're looking at, but what are the most common uses for, you know, for that, uh, that 50 inch television, like you're talking about? Yeah, you're right. It, certainly Vizio doesn't make sense for every single space. Um, you know, if, if it's an outdoor space or, um, you know, industrial, go, go with a professional display. I, I, absolutely. But in, in a classroom where a budget might be tight and, and you know, state and local government where, where it's going out to bid and you need a, a competitive solution. Right. Um, in, in small to medium office, you know, Vizio just makes so much sense. It, it's a fantastic product at, at a low cost. Yeah, yeah. So conference rooms, classrooms, what are some of the, maybe the other common uses that you're seeing? Yeah, conference rooms and classrooms are, are, are the bread and butter. You, you've named the, the two, you know, best verticals that we're selling into today. Yeah. Um, expanding from there, certainly into the hospitality industry, we see a lot of use in, in restaurants and in hotels. You know, the Vizio, the, the, the built-in SmartCast platform on, on Vizio, that, that's our kind of homemade uh, smart platform that, that competes with something like a Roku or a Chromecast. Oh, okay. Um, has a lot of free content on it. So I, if, if, again, if, if somebody's on a budget and they want free content, um, it, it's great free channels that you connect to Wi-Fi and that you get right out of the box. So it, it's fantastic for... Um, you know, the hospitality market where content is, is the, the key player. Right, right. That makes a lot of sense. Well, uh, so looking at uh, some of the the products coming up for 2023, what is specifically new from Vizio coming coming down the pike? Sure. Uh, but we will refresh our product line every year, like, like most manufacturers will of, of displays. Coming in quarter one, the, the end of quarter one will be a refresh um, in the, the Ingram Micro and, and, and uh, you know, the community. With that refresh, there there are a number of, of enhancements that, that, you know, I certainly would call out. One being that, that every Vizio display will come with a, a brand new gaming engine. So if, if gaming is a big consideration for um, any work that, that our reseller partners are doing, um, you know, Vizio has a strong stance there. And what do you mean by gaming engine? So the, the processor uh, in, in the, the display um, supports AMD FreeSync, supports uh, NVIDIA G-Sync, has a uh, you know, lower refresh rates. So we're, we're looking under 10 milliseconds. So they're really viable for, for gaming solutions. Yeah. Um, as yeah. opposed to, you know, maybe the, our, our last generation of televisions. Got it. Got it. In addition to that, I think maybe the most exciting thing that we have on, on, on our new displays is the Wi-Fi 6E compatibility. Those who might not be familiar with Wi-Fi 6E, um, it, it's a technology that brings an, an additional band, a 6 gigahertz band to the Wi-Fi array. So, you know, you, you can have devices streaming 4K and, and, you know, gaming separately from the rest of the devices on the network. So it's, you know, very valuable for, for multiple devices using a lot of bandwidth. And that's built into every single Vizio display in 2023. Is that something that is pretty widespread or, or you know, it seems like Vizio is kind of leading the, leading the field a little bit in, in providing that already. Am I right? We are, you know, and certainly across the full line. There's no other manufacturer out there that's doing that. Um, there may be some displays uh, out there that are compatible, but you know, certainly not not a full line like like the Vizio product will be next year. Uh, wh- what was the the thought process behind that decision to uh, to go ahead and kind of jump in front and offer this? Because uh, you know, I, I guess if you would uh, just tell us a little bit more about the you know the six E for for people, you know, all I understand is that it's it's super fast. But I mean, how fast are we talking? Extremely fast. Uh, you support speeds up to two point five gigs per second. You know, in, in my own home with a new mesh network, um, I've I've always been a networking nerd. I've always wanted you know the the, the fastest technology that I possibly can have from, from an internet standpoint. It's the first generation of, of Wi-Fi that I trust more than, than having a cabled solution. So a home with, with, with Cat6 cabling throughout, the new Wi-Fi 6E standard actually outperforms wired Cat6 in a home. It, it, it's fantastic. That's amazing. And certainly that, that led the charge on our decision to move forward with the technology. You know, a consumer, again, is, is a huge part of Vizio's business. And it's, you know, very important for us to appeal there. But the B2B applications are endless with, with that technology as well. Think about an apartment building where, you know, Wi-Fi might be being used by 50, 60 simultaneous users. Yeah. And having that extra band available, it, you know, it frees up so much bandwidth on, on the more commonly used 2.4 and 5 gigahertz bands. Um, it, it's a great B2B application. 
And so getting back to the first part of my my question, so looking at at this type of technology, how is that a a differentiator for Visio. I mean, for a a Ingram Micro partner that is uh, looking at all of the options available and um, highlighting that you know Visio specifically has you know Wi Fi six E. I guess can you just quantify a little bit and talk about why that is such a a difference maker? Yeah, it, it's going to change. You know, very f- kind of vertical by vertical. But it has so many applications. I, I, again, you know, I mentioned the, the the apartment building for hospitality. You know, think about how many devices are connected within an office. Think about how many devices are, are being connected, and you know, small scale digital signage solutions where where our, our product might be being used. The additional bandwidth created and, and the the speed is just you know paramount. Um, and you have that on a, on a product that is is extremely affordable. So, you know, I certainly position that every single time that you talk about a Visio product, I, I would certainly position the, the Wi-Fi capabilities, you know, pair that with, with other features and the industry that you're selling it into. And I, I think it's a home run every time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So when we do start to look at uh, kind of the, the big picture, so you mentioned some of those, those refreshes that are coming down the pike, the Wi-Fi 6E, when approximately would that be available 2023? As, as soon as we launch our new product line, I anticipate February or March. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Kind of looking big picture then, um, if you were, you know, standing in front of an Ingram Micro partner or a reseller and, uh, you know, giving that that elevator pitch that, you know, what does it really mean to you? Uh, we've already alluded to that a little bit about the differentiator, but I guess, uh, what would you say to them? Why, why Vizio? Why Vizio? I, it, it, it's very simple. First of all, I want to highlight this is Vizio's 20th year as a company. Um, so, you know, we are a veterans to the display business and, and we make a fantastic audio product as well. But our, our mission and, and really who we are as an organization is to deliver the best technology at the lowest cost. Yeah. Um, certainly the, the value proposition is, is, is what I you know, mentioned and, and what resellers should be talking to their end users about. I look back at Vizio 2002, Vizio you know, first came to market. I think a you know a forty inch plasma TV then was three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Wow! Wow! Crazy, you know. To yeah. think of now, Vizio launched a product that was half the cost, um, and you know we really led the charge to drive that down the display cost in, in the United States. Vizio really led that charge, and, and that's who we've been ever since the, you know we we launched uh, our our first products. And you know today uh, again, you're you're looking at sixty five inch four K televisions under five hundred dollars, fifty inch under three hundred dollars. Um, certainly that value proposition is, is, is where we play. And, and fantastic products. I use them all in my house. And like you say, you're a self-professed networking nerd. So you want the best uh, the best quality, the, the fastest uh, refresh rates. Uh, yeah, you're not going to be lagging in your house. For sure, for sure. And I don't think anybody else does in, in their <laughs> office or, or school as well. Right, right. Well, as we start to wrap up our episode, uh, we always ask our guests the same final question, and that's where do you see technology going in the next year? So I know that is super broad. We've talked a little bit already about 2023, but from a larger standpoint of where we're going to be with uh, with display technology uh, in the, the B2B space or in the channel, uh, where are we going to be in 2023? Yeah, you know, displays, uh, and, and certainly I'll, I'll speak from more of, of the entry level consumer displays because that's you know where my expertise is with Vizio. You know, we, we see other competitors and, and more competitors getting into this space at, at, at the retail level specifically, and constraint is no longer an issue. Supply is, is fantastic across the board across many manufacturers. You know, we, we see a, a lot of holiday promotions and things that, that are, are driving down price points to, to a level that we've never seen before in the industry. And we expect that to continue as, you know, as competitors come in, that there's going to be continued pressure on manufacturers uh, overseas where most of these displays are being made. And I think in the next two to three years, you know, we're really going to see um, price points continue to move down while technology increases. Um, you know, it's a trend that we've seen for, for a long time, and I think it will continue. You know, last year, we saw an increase in display prices going into next year. That's not going to exist unless, you know, unforeseen circumstances come up like they have. Right. We'll see that technology, you know, continue to trend down. Um, and then, you know, we're seeing an emergence in, in some new technologies like uh, like 8K. I, I don't think that there's there's wide applications for that yet, um, but, mm-hmm. you know, it's certainly on, on our radar. 
and then uh, things like increased refresh rates for for the gaming industry specifically. That's very much on Vizio's radar as well. We'll continue to, to see that trend for sure. Yeah, I would imagine with the explosion in you know in e gaming and esports, and knowing that yes, there's the the big professional arenas and there's the you know uh, the big professional equipment, but it's being democratized a little bit more. I mean, we're seeing you know esports arenas pop up in universities, certainly, but high schools, and and we've even heard some instances of of elementaries, and so those are especially cases where you can't afford the the very, very top and, and get the, either the, well, it's the delta between value and, and in this case, kind of quantity of what you would need to, to outfit a, a arena, right? You've got it. You've got it. And, you know, Vizio has a, has a, a great high-end product as well. You know, I, I think I've talked about a value product most of, most of this call, but we have a nice value or high-end product as well that, that still is very price competitive um, that has features like that 120 hertz and, and things that, that is needed um, for those arenas. Um, so so you can't spare anything on, on those those types of interactions for sure. Well, for listeners who have uh, any questions about uh, specifically what we talked about today or, or want to find out more, how can they reach out? Um, reach out directly to me. Um, like I said, I, I manage the, the entire channel. I'm, I'm happy to work directly with, with reseller partners that, that will end up buying from Ingram. My email address, stephen.kelly at bizio.com connect with me on LinkedIn. I'd be happy to to share more about the display industry and, and Vizio specifically. Excellent. Well, Stephen, I really appreciate the, the time and the insight. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Shelby. I appreciate it. And thank you listeners for tuning in and subscribing to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. If you like this episode or have a question, please join the discussion on Twitter with the hashtag B2B Tech Talk. Until next time, I'm Shelby Skirhawk. You've been listening to B2B Tech Talk with Ingram Micro. This episode was sponsored by Ingram Micro's Imagine Next. B2B Tech Talk is a joint production with Sweetfish Media and Ingram Micro. Ingram Micro production handled by Laura Burton and Christine Fan. To not miss an episode, subscribe today on your favorite podcast platform.